the loss, you feel it here, you know, for the ones that are like left behind. You know, it's, it's devastating. Good evening, I'm Rick Garcia. And I'm Pat Harvey. Only on CBS2, the family of a little boy gunned down in a drive-by shooting speak out about the pain of losing him as detectives try to track down his killer. And CBS2's Jeff Nguyen is live in Pomona with a story you won't see anywhere else. Jeff? Well, Rick and Pat, memorial services for eight-year-old Jonah Huang are scheduled to take place at First Baptist Church on Saturday. And his family is having to lay him to rest while investigators have no leads in this case. She won't ever, you know, be able to experience that with Jonah. So there's like so much stuff. There's so much stuff. It's just sad. Nicole Pignon says her heart breaks for the mother of eight-year-old Jonah Huang, who was killed in a drive-by shooting in Pomona last month. She's been wearing this yellow ribbon close to her heart, which Jonah's flag football team has adopted. This symbol of sorrow is seen across a city in mourning. Driving through Pomona, you'll probably see a lot of the yellow ribbon through the different schools. Jonah and his parents were visiting some church friends at their home when a stray bullet hit him. Pastor Adam Donner remembers meeting Jonah for the first time after he was adopted from Taiwan three years ago. And he would come up to me and just look me in the eye and smile from ear to ear. Um, and it was infectious. Pastor Donner says his church has rallied around Jonah's parents, people who have volunteered countless hours at this community center, tutoring less fortunate children after school. Seven years ago, his parents helped to create this community garden. It was reported to us by, by the police that after the, that garden went in, that crime in that specific area went down by 40 percent. Friends say Jonah's parents are still committed to making Pomona a safer place. They're holding on to hope the person who's responsible will understand the full impact of their heartache. For a mother that maybe knows the person that, that did it or is, is the neighbor or is whoever they are connected, it's not too late to do the right thing and come forward. And services are expected to begin at 1 o'clock on Saturday. His family is asking parents who bring their children to the services to have an action figure with them because, you see, Jonah loved superheroes. Now back to you.